my channel. Thanks for coming by. Hope you guys are doing fine out there. And I am so thankful for all the continued support. I see all my new subscribers. My comments on my last video. I love the support. I love the input and everything. And I took all you guys' comments into consideration. I decided to do a natural Valentine's Day look. I'm going to do a natural Valentine's Day look. Which is this. And I'm doing a dramatic smoky eye. So that's going to be... So, let me tell you a little bit about this look. I just basically use Rose Pigment Pigment by MAC. And on my lips, I used this lip color from the beauty supply store. It's nothing special. It's just a pinky, pinky nude. You can compare this to Snob Lipstick by uh, MAC or Pink Pout by Revlon. It's really pretty. I love it. Nice pouty pink color. And on my highlight, I have Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. And Artist Couture Gold Digger. So this video is going to be a talk through. So it's going to be long. Like, I really didn't want to be long. But if it's, if I'm talking, it's going to be long. Like, there's no way out of that. But let me know what you guys think. If you like this look. It's a nice, natural, open, open eye look. Because I put nude on the waterline. And so I don't have wing liner this time. And I always wear a wing liner. This goes to show you don't need to wear a wing liner to be fierce. So, here is the look. Red Cherry um, Wispies as always. Tell me what you guys think. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to first prime my eyes with Eden. And then, yeah, we're going to get this Valentine's Day tutorial started. We're going to get our blending brushes and lay down our transition box. So what, usually what I do, I get two blending brushes. One to lay down color and one to blend it out. Your blending out brush always wants to be super fluffy. It wants to be super fluffy so it can, you know, put the color nice and smoothly and all that good stuff. And then your first blending brush wants to be mediumly fluffy. I know that's not a word, but that's what I'm going to say. Mediumly fluffy. So let's get started. The first color we're going to lay down is Saddle by MAC, which is this sort of it's sort of skin tony color here. Just want to dip your brush in it and get to blending. Okay guys, once you apply your first um, transition color, your skin tone color, you want to apply a redder, a reddish orangey brown. Now my favorite reddish orangey brown is October Fest by Coastal Sands, but unfortunately, I broke my last one. Like, I totally dropped it and broke it, and I haven't had the chance to order a new one. So, we have to be stuck with brown strip. Now, brown strip is a cool color. It's just not as orange as I would like it. Now, MAC has another color called Red Brick. I like that color, but I don't have it. So, we're going to use brown strip. Now you want to take your big blending brush and blend those two colors together so it can be nice and seamless. You always want to blend with circular motions. If you do back and forth, you risk washing out all the colors you put on. So you want to blend in light circular motions. So the first lid color that we're going to lay down is called Paprika. It's this sort of salmony, it's like a salmony skin tone pink, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's pretty. It's a Coastal Sins Hot Pot. It's called Hot Pot. It's called Paprika. We're going to lay it on our lid with a flat shader brush. Just put it on the lid. It doesn't have to be super neat because we're going to blend it out later. Okay, that's that. Just take your blending brush and then your crease colors with the lip color. Okay, that's how it looks so far. Now... Okay, now I want to bring a little bit more orange into the crease, so I'm going to take a little bit of this orange and the Take Me to Brazil palette, and I'm going to lightly dust that in the crease area. And then you want to blend it out with your big fluffy brush. Okay, alright, alright, alright. 
Now I want to start working on defining our outer V slightly. So I'm going to take this color from the It's Judy Time palette by BH Cosmetics on the same blending brush that we've been working with through the whole tutorial. Now I'm just going to take this color on the outer V. First I'm going to go bring it up and in. So up and in. It's just a nice sort of red tone round. And of course, we gotta take our big brush and blend that out. Okay, now it's time to lay down our rose pigment. Now I've only have I only have the sample size, but it's been lasting me a long time, so I didn't buy one the full size yet. But it's just this gorgeous pink pigment with these gold reflexes and you know when you apply it on it it the gold shines through more than a pink it sounds complicated but you're gonna see in a second you want to get a synthetic flat top brush and you want to wet it with fix plus or water my fix plus is as always all the way over yonder so I'm gonna use okay the fix plus is here <laughs> mm. Um, we'll see you in editing. Thank you. Thank you to my assistant. <laughs> okay. We're going to use this flat top flat top synthetic brush and we're going to spray it with Fix Plus so that the pigment is brighter. And then we're just going to pack the rose pigment on our lid. You can use any golden pinkish color that you have or you can just use gold if you want. But since this is Valentine's Day, we have to use pink. Just pack it on your lid as much as you can. Okay, I brought the um, pigment up into the crease slightly, so you can do that if you want. Now we're going to blend that pigment out. Okay, now we're going to take the, it's Judy Time palette, take this brown and sort of deepen the outer V as we did before. This is a more natural Valentine's Day look, so you don't want to be too harsh with the colors. And then after that, I'm going to take Deep Roast, which is another hot pot by Coastal Scents, and I'm going to put that in my crease to give it more de definition. Okay, now we're going to take our big fluffy blending brush and blend that out. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to use the lightest color in the It's Judy Time palette. You can use a flat top brush or a fluffy brush. I'm going to use this fluffy brush right here. Because I don't like my highlight to be very stark. 
just light. <laughs> and then blend it out with your big blending brush. Okay, today for foundation, I'm going to use Lancome's Tint Idol Foundation. Okay, so we have a dewy finish. I'm going to first apply Becca's Liquid Shimmery Skin Perfector in the color Opal. As I've been doing in like all my videos. Because it just looks sun-kissed. So, we're going to put some on our fingers and just put it on your face. You can concentrate on your highlight areas like your cheek, your nose, your forehead. You don't have to put it on your whole face. I'm going to buff in this foundation with this stippling brush by e.l.f. and put two pumps on my hand and then just buff it in. First I'm going to spray with Fix Plus though. For highlight today, I'm going to use a little bit of Fawn by LA Pro, LA Girl Pro Conceal and Fawn. I was going to use my MAC NW45 in Pro Longwear, but we're going to go for a little bit brighter highlight today, so we're going to use Fawn. So now apply it in your, you know, upside down triangular shape. To blend it in, I'm going to use MAC. The sponge from MAC. I'm going to spray it with water first. Okay, after I blend with my sponge, just to make sure everything is nice and smooth, I go in with the brush that I applied my foundation with and just you know, smooth everything out. I'm going to use this fluffy brush, and today I'm going to use the banana powder. The Bin Luxury Banana Powder. I'm just going to pour some into the top. Now I'm going to contour my face. We're going to start by using a bronzer. Where is my contour brush? Okay. I'm going to use the Sephora PRC. Okay, it does not say PRC. The Sephora Pro Contour Blush Contour Brush number 74. My favorite brush to contour. And this Queen Collection Bronzer in Ebony Bronze, the darkest shade. And I'm going to bronze my face, add the color back into my face and the dimension. Okay, so once you lay down your bronzer or your first contour, powder however you do it then what I do I always do this step I always add um deep roast hot pot by coastal scents to make to like carve my cheeks out and make your contour stand out a little bit more so what I do is I take the edge of the brush like the edge like this and then I bring it at the bottom of the contour and then I blend it up so I bring it right here and then I blend it up with the top. That way, you know, you can really see that, you know, that, that snatch right there, you know? So, we just blend it up. I'm going to do the same with the other side. I'm also going to apply some, you know, at the other places on my face.
Okay, to now, to make your contour pop even more on your cheek, I'm gonna take some of that banana powder and I'm gonna run it like underneath the contour. It's called reverse contouring. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, now that's done, you just want to run your face powder all over your face. I'm going to use my MAC Mineral Last Skin Finish in Dark Deepest. This is how it looks. I'm going to use this brush by Real Techniques. This just removes all that lightness off your face. You know, help everything to look smooth and, you know, just nice and smooth. Okay, now that's done. This is just a little extra step that I do. Um, basically, I have a lot of laugh lines because I'm a very happy person. So to help to not make them so visible, what you want to do is to take the concealer that you highlighted with. Well, not necessarily use it a little bit, one that's a little bit darker, but I'm going to use the same one I highlighted with, and put it in your laugh, your smile lines. This sort of brings them back if that makes sense. It fills them in so you don't see them when you take your selfies, you know? So you just wanna put it in there a little bit. You wanna take your saddle and just run it on the lower lash line. Okay, you're going to take brown script now and do the same thing, run it below your lash line. I'm just going to use some nude concealer. I'm going to use this color from my concealer palette. Take your deep roast and try to run it as close to the lower lash line as possible. To sort of just define your lash line. Once that's done, you're gonna take a black eyeshadow, taking this black from taking your Brazil palette, a different blending brush, and we're going to define our outer V some more. You know, you gotta give a little drama. So, you just want to put it in the crease, like so. Do the same on this side. Sort of layer the color. We're going to use this brush to blend out. We're going to take Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Perversion and we're going to rim our upper lash line. And then we're going to do a liner. We're going to do a line. We're not going to do a wing liner. We're just going to do a regular thin line on our upper lash line. We're going to use the Cat Line B liquid liner. You want to do a nice little thin line on your eye. It's not perfect, but hey, nobody's perfect. We're just going to roll to protection. What I'm going to do is refreshing my MAC pigment, my MAC rose pigment. I'm not going to wet the brush this time. I'm just going to pack it onto the lid because we lost some of it in the blending process. Okay, after you do that, 
of course we're gonna want to blend it out everything has to be nice and blended <clears throat> for blush of course I'm going to use blushing rose by Jordana it has rose in the name like the, I like this blush because it's like it's like blush it's like a duochrome blush. Like you put it on, it's pink, but in certain lights, lighting, it looks kind of gold. I don't know. It's weird. But you need to get your hands on it because it's great. I'm gonna put some on my cheeks. So I feel like if you're not really a person that likes highlight, you can just use this blush and get away with it as both. Because it does add a cute glow to your cheeks. So I'm just patting it on and blending it backwards. Okay, there you go. You don't want to put too, too much. And then after you do that, it's highlight time. My favorite part, guys. So excited. Um, today's highlight, we are going to use none other than Bobbi Brown's Bronze Glow Limited Edition. Oh, yeah. So you want to just lightly dust it on your cheek. On your chin, your cupid's bow, your nose, your forehead, you know. You guys know. Okay, so kick that up a notch, because you know I like to kick things up a couple notches. We're going to use Iris Couture Gold Digger, because it is so pretty. Just going to put that on the cheek as well. You know, since our eyes are supernatural, you know, you at least gotta kick up the highlight. Gotta do something. Okay, once you put that in, what I like to do is take, like, a brush and just sort of blend it into the blush so that it doesn't look so stark and cray cray. Alright, guys, we are almost done. You wanna put your. Next thing, you gotta put our mascara, our lashes, and our lip color. I'm gonna do lip color and do mascara and lashes later. So for lips, you know, you would go with your usual nude color. You know, I would usually use Velvet Teddy. But, I think I'm gonna use something else today. Instead of using Velvet Teddy, I'm gonna use this color I got from the beauty supply store. Unfortunately, the lettering has rubbed off. But here's another one, it's called Lip it's by Absolute New York Lip Matte Lip Maxi Satin. That's what it's called. And it's in this color right here. It's like a pinky nudish color. They're pretty cool. I think they were like $2.99. Something like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that on my lip. This is a pinky sort of nudish color. Put that all over your lips and then I'm going to line it with a brown liner by Kisses New York. It's a little bit more red toned than the first one. Blend it in. Blend, blend, blend. And then for lip gloss, I'm going to use this lip gloss by Too Faced. It's called Glamorous Glass. It's like, it's called Peekaboo. It's just a glittery, sort of nudish, brownish type color. I'm gonna put a little bit on the center. Not too much. Yeah, that's for lips. So I got my lashes on and of course one of my eyes is acting up so I need to quickly finish this video. I'm gonna use some of this mascara on the bottom lashes and since we not since we're not wearing bottom lashes, we're gonna put a lot of mascara. So just go ham with the mascara. Try not to get it on your your under eye area though.
Okay guys, so I'm finally finished my makeup. I applied some wispies and I fleeked my bottom lashes. Like I put lots of mascara. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is a look. I hope I'm in focus, but this is the look. It was something I had to tell you guys. Oh yeah, of course we gotta put some Fix Plus on. Duh. So you take your Fix Plus and just spray like crazy. Spray, 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 spray. We're gonna let that settle in, and then, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. 